Yeah, right, guys and girls, welcome back. This is day 743 days into my slim fast dieting plan, and it is Monday, the 15th of January, and it's 6 11 right now. So I'm just getting ready to do dinner at the moment. So I just need to move all the shit out of the way. I'm doing my brother a pizza today. And yeah, definitely good. So we're just having a bit of a discussion today, me and my friend on about uh, this Brexit and stuff. And I said it's a bit of a piss take really when they're after a second referendum, right? When they've already squandered the first one. And to be honest, people, like at least a third of the people voted to actually go out of the European Union. So it's basically, there's gonna be a sort of a, and a revolution coming around soon. It's gonna be so big. I tell you, people, right? If people really want it, right? They really wanna fucking stand up for their country. Instead of being in the European Union's like pockets, we should be standing on our own two feet. And I think the only way we're gonna do it, is, and then this friend of mine says to me about us all the National Health Service and the vulnerable people are gonna be all at uh, like vulnerable and stuff. Well, we're already uh, vulnerable already. We're already uh, about to get done by the government. Yeah, we're already getting done by the government. So, hey ho, hey ho. That's what they always say. I'm disabled myself, but I find, to be honest, the National Health Service is in dire straits, and this was way before the European Union came along. Well, I wouldn't say before, but this is way before Brexit even came along, I should say. And it really annoys me to fact that people are denying someone of their sort of Brexit. We shouldn't be needing two Brexit fucking referendums to know. And then what's going to happen anyway, If even if we do have another referendum, right? People, right, this friend of mine keeps saying to me, oh, more people will vote to go stay in because they know it's uh, better beneficial for them. And it's not. All it is, it's just fucking the government screwing people over. The EU's going to screw people over. They're going to bring in the EU army, screw everybody over again. And then it's just going to be a nut roll. Then a revolution's going to start. And this is when people are going to be putting their foot down. And then the actual EU would just say, fuck you all. They'll start bringing in the soldiers to take care of uh, us all. Like uh, that uh, Catalonia. And it's just going to be a bit of a sore foot for us people. For us, um... Actually, this is video log 1505 episodes, by the way, guys and girls. So basically, we'll end up getting, be worse off because... As disabled people or vulnerable people or even working people are going to be battered the fuck out of by the police because they're going to be run by the government and then there's going to be like a sort of uh, the government or the European army is going to be connected to every army in the European Union and then we're going to be put on the euros they're going to actually get rid of the pound they're going to bring in it says anyone who's actually in EU will have to have the euros so that means getting rid of the pound at, and they're gonna bring in the new money and stuff so that way they can control it a lot better fucking absolute disgrace to be honest guys and girls right um so i need some gravy some gravy i should need my tin of beans my chili beans Ooh. 
and then we've got that National Health Service. At the moment, right, the National Health Service and that uh, group, uh, was it Carillion and stuff? I mean, what the hell is our government giving them more money even though they're in administration right now? It's absolutely a disgrace. Our government shouldn't be giving our money away to, uh, for them to build other buildings up and construct them when they've already squandered the money already. It's absolute outrage. Absolute outrage. I think it's one of the, I think the government are doing it on purpose to get rid of the money and all that completely. Right. This is an uproar to be honest. Uh, we shouldn't even be in the European Union at all, in the EU, at all. This is just so preposterous. So today I'm doing my mum a jack of potato again, she likes those. And I'm also uploading another video to my YouTubers at the moment, to you guys and girls out there. Which is going to take like two hours just to upload a 15 gig file. Doing it in top notch quality as well. So. Sounds good as well on the uh, microphone. But yeah, if you do like these like, sort of um, dieting videos, do like, favourite, share, comment, subscribe and all that. So I don't know if you guys and girls can see that my uh, shoulder uh, seems to be getting bigger. My arms are getting slightly bigger. So I'm starting to bulk up a bit. Uh, on the actual arms My belly, I don't know why I seem, I feel like my belly's starting to go down a little bit Which is a good thing because I don't want it going down too fast So that way it can't keep up But I'm going to have to try and so I can do it so I can fill in the gaps Because when you remove something like belly fat You're obviously, you're replacing it with something So it could be just like standard fat and all that uh, just like unlasticated shit going on. So then you become like stretch arms from. I remember those back in the days, those little uh, sort of kids' toys where you used to stretch them out and you used to be like stretch all that one for Mr. Fantastic. On the Fantastic Four. Alright. Put that one in. Normally I put five minutes, so I'll put six bits. Anyway, I had my breakfast uh, this morning. I think it was around about nine o'clock this morning, actually. Uh, watched a really good film, actually. Quite explicit film, actually. Back, uh, I think it was made in like 1971 or 1979, something like that. Around the 70s, anyway. Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. Watched it on Amazon. Absolute brilliant film. Brilliant film. It's about this guy who's basically going around with his friends and a bunch of thugs and they're doing all kinds of shit. 
Uh, I wouldn't like to say what. I'm not going to say what either, but they do all kinds of shit. Um, beating old age pensioners up and all that. And all this kind of shit going on. Anyway, this one bloke, he does a murder. I think he kills this woman or something. And then he gets sent to, I think it was like Dartmoor or something, prison or some shit. I think it's like a Dartmoor prison. Uh, which is, I think, near Devon, I think. Devon, the sure. And they start doing all this, like, uh, sort of brainwashing on him to try and reform him back of all the violence. It's like they go on an ultra sort of violence sort of things. And it's hard to explain, but the actual film is pretty cool. And then you find that the bloke... Um, who actually did the sort of mind control shit on him, tried to brainwash him to turn him good, uh, made him a lot worse. So they had to cut it down and then they turned him back to the same person again at the end of it because it was apparently they were doing it illegally. Some government were doing some experiments on him. Because they were trying to use all kinds of drugs on him to bloody uh, make him reformed and all of that. Right. But definitely, I, I like the film. And I hope they do bring that out on 4K. That would be interesting, even though it's an old film. A 4K version of that film would be awesome. I think it's where they didn't actually like the police or so, or order. And it was a time when order was out of chaos and all that chaos, uh, chaos out of order. And then these people were doing all kinds of shit just to try and get in trouble. And obviously it was around about the 70s at the time, so I think all kinds of shit was going on in those days. Stanley Kubrick, though, one of the best film um, directors of all time. I think he actually did The Cube, if I remember rightly. I can't remember what other films he's done there, but... Good director. Apparently it's uh, written from a book or something, so it was originally a book. Not one for uh, kids to watch though, it's uh, more like an adult film and all that. But a good, good film. Definitely one for the grown ups. about 14 minutes in so I had my high protein low fat carb uh, slim fast shake 15 grams of protein 230 calories source of fiber 23 vitamins minerals no added sugar and also add some coconut love that absolutely delicious and also had some Green and black hot chocolate. Definitely recommended for an all-time mix. Anyway, guys and girls, 
Cheers all for watching this breakfast video. If you like this one, do like, favorite, share, comment, subscribe. Cheers all for watching. Stay safe and have a good one.